are learning more about the CPS case history involving Colton Turner. According to the Cedar Park Police Chief, the agency had four cases involving the two-year-old, two of which were open when officers found his body in a shallow grave last week. Tonight, we hear from the agency for the first time. Fox 7's Noelle Newton has that. Across from the Cedar Park Police Department are candles, balloons, and children's toys, all left with love for a boy who may have not received enough while living. The mother of two-year-old Colton Turner, Megan Work, says she helped her boyfriend, Michael Turner, bury the child's body in southeast Austin in July. Work claims he hit his head on an air conditioner at a motel after being assaulted and died the next day. I don't think I could bring myself to ever believe anything that Megan Work says. It was Cedar Park Police Chief Sean Mannix's officers who first interviewed Work. He says she told them several stories about her son's whereabouts between when family members last reported seeing him in April and May until September 10th. I think that one of the, the most uh, sad elements, you know, of this uh, case is we may never know uh, what happened to that little boy uh, other than how he was disposed of by the people that are supposed to be closest to him. Manick says CPS has investigated cases involving the family. They date back to when Colton was around six months old. The number that I was given was four. I haven't confirmed that uh, with CPS. And I was also told that a couple of those cases were open cases uh, because they were unable to locate uh, Ms. Work because of her transient nature. If someone doesn't want to be found, there's ways not to be found. I, you know. Um, that's just the way of the world. Department of Family and Protective Services spokesperson Julie Moody defended the agency as much as she could without revealing specifics about the case history. She says that must remain private for now while an internal review takes place. There was prior involvement with CPS in this family. When we're finished reviewing everything that we did or didn't do, we will release that um, to the public. In addition, the Texas Health and Human Services Commission will review the case. It oversees DFPS. Both reviews will likely not be complete by Colton's funeral. Manick says he will be there. This little boy deserved to have uh, more people involved and more love in his life while he was living. And if all we could do is give him a little bit of that post-mortem, you know, well, I want to be part of that. And that was Noel Newton reporting. The family has not set funeral arrangements for Colton, but they will be paid for. The Cook Walden Davis Funeral Home in Georgetown created a GoFundMe account, and by 6 o'clock today, the goal amount of $10,000 was reached. That pays for a casket and the purchase of a gravesite at Baghdad Cemetery. Megan Works' first court appearance is set for September 23rd. Darla Davis will re represent her, and Davis was a prosecutor on the yogurt shop murders.